Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Incorto d'Arte. What's your favorite color? Mine is yellow. What do you think about the color yellow? This color has a long history. It is one of the oldest colors used in art. In fact, a hue of yellow created from ochre mineral pigment was used in cave paintings more than 17,000 years ago. In ancient times, yellow was appreciated and used by kings and emperors because it was associated to the sun and its light. Later on, however, especially during medieval times, yellow became the color of jealousy, envy, treason and dishonor. In fact, in religious paintings, Judas' robe was yellow. It was during the 1800s that the color yellow obtained different and more positive meanings, especially thanks to the work of painters like Fragonard or J.M.W. Turner. The British painter, in particular, used yellow in his paintings in such a way that his landscapes are infused with extraordinary yellow sunlight. In more modern times, yellow has different meanings and uses. We can see it entering pop culture in comics such as The Yellow Kid, songs such as Yellow Submarine by The Beatles, or in movies and TV series such as The Minion and The Simpsons. Certainly, yellow is impossible not to notice in all its different hues and forms. Contemporary artists such as Olafur Eliasson, who we talked about in our videos on shadows, use the color yellows in their artworks. In the weather project, he used humidifiers to create a light smog that spread the yellow light projected by hundreds of lamps. Other artists were inspired or used the color yellow in their artwork for different reasons. When we think about artists who worked with yellow, certainly the first to come to mind is Vincent van Gogh. When he moved to Harles in the March 1888, he wrote to his brother Theo, The sun dazzles me and goes to my head. A sun, a light that I can only call yellow, sulfur yellow, lemon yellow, golden yellow how lovely yellow is. Van Gogh paintings in this period, in fact, are mainly yellow, as if they were bathed by the sunlight. Some people even thought that he could have a vision dysfunction that made him see things in yellow. However, after further study, it was clear that the artist changed style after moving to the south of France, where the climate was more sunny and warm. Therefore, his art changed too representing what the artist was feeling at that particular moment of his life. Another artist who made his fame with yellow, but in, a, in its golden form, is Gustav Klimt. The work of the Viennese artist, in fact, is still popular to this day, thanks to his golden period. Between 1898 and 1911, Klimt decorated his canvases in golden leaf, reminiscent of the very famous Byzantine mosaic of Ravenna, which are full of gold. Klimt might well have been inspired by these mosaics to illuminate his own paintings with gold. The subject of his paintings are fierce women who he loved to paint, such as Pallas Athena and Judith. However, this golden style is most recognized in Klimt's iconic paintings, such as The Kiss and the portrait of Adele Bloschbauer. German artist Wolfgang Leib also works with color yellow, but in a very different way. In fact, he collects pollen from trees and plants and, use, and uses it in his artworks. These often take the form of great yellow squares sifted onto the floor, small piles of pollen, or as a collection of jars of diverse sizes full of yellow pollen. Leib says that his art comes from his past in hospitals, where he could see real pain 
and from a long spiritual process in which he ritually collects pollen from trees and puts it into jars. He started doing this from 1977 and has kept doing it every day until now. Leib uses pollen to celebrate life and birth, as it is pollen that is the start of plant's life and therefore of earth life. Here we have seen three artists who use yellow in their artworks. How could we do the same and be inspired by the color yellow? I will send you an omission. Go around and look for every object, paper, flowers that is yellow in all these hues and shades or that contain some yellow into them. Once you have found them all, arrange them in a composition. Make sure to use light to create interesting shadows. When you're happy with your composition, take some pictures of it. Take some time to create different compositions using different objects, angles and shapes. You will be amazed by the quantity of images that you can create. As always, thank you for joining us in this journey in the history of the color yellow. Send us your compositions and tell us in the comments what your favorite color is and why. Don't forget to click on the like button if you liked the video and to subscribe to this channel not to lose our next episodes. We are also on social media, so come and say hi. Remember to look at the yellow sun and to enjoy its warm hug. Bye!